Here are a couple of quick hints about printing. We're going to write a program, as the comments say, to calculate and display a discount price and then display a shipping address. You've already learned to print words by enclosing them in quote marks. We can say system.out.println and in quote marks your price is and a dollar sign. You can also do calculations in Java if you leave off the quote marks and put an arithmetic expression inside the parentheses. We can use system.out.println and calculate $40.50 times 1 minus 0 0.125, where the 0 0.125 is 12.5% converted to a decimal. Notice that I've put a space on both sides of all my arithmetic operators. Java doesn't require it, but the programming guidelines for this course do require it. It makes your code much more readable. Let's compile the program and run it. Pretty good, but the output is on two lines. We'd really like the price to follow immediately after the dollar sign all on one line. We can do that by changing print ln, which prints and goes to a new line, with print, which prints the text without going to a new line. Let's see that in action. We'll compile again and run, and now the output's all on one line. That's much better. In the next chapters, we'll find a couple of easier ways to have this same effect. But for now, I want you to understand the difference between print and println. The next thing we'd like to have in our output is a blank line before the shipping address. To make our code visually more readable, we'll insert a blank line and print some text. When we compile the program and run it, we don't get a blank line in the output. Putting a blank line in the Java code doesn't cause a blank line to appear in the output. To do that, we need to say system.out.println and then put a pair of parentheses with nothing in between them. That tells Java to go to a new line without printing anything new. Now when we compile and execute, we get a blank line in the output between the price and the ship to instructions. The next step is to output the address. If you look at chapter 1, they talk about the backslash n newline character, and you might be tempted to write something like this for the address. We'll give the customer name, and then say backslash n to go to the next line, then the street address, and then a backslash n to go to the next line, and then the city state, and zip code. When you compile the program and run it, the output looks good. But the source code is ugly and it's hard to read and it'll be harder to maintain if you ever need to correct the address, say from AVE to the word Avenue. Instead of using backslash n, for purposes of readability and maintainability, use three separate println statements. One for the customer name, one for the street address, and one for the city, state, and zip. Now, not only is the source code more readable, it resembles the output better, and as we see when we compile and run it, our display is exactly the same. And those are some useful hints for printing. You can let Java do calculations, and you can use print to print without going to a new line whenever you need to put multiple outputs on a single line.